For context, this guy got the drop on. I was running by to grab the power up, and all this damage started coming in. So I spun around and started shooting back. Now, to say the least, I'm out of practice, and I'm not much of a duelist. But I usually do okay when it's one-on-one -on -one versus another commander. So, it is what it is. So anyway, here's to getting back into the swing of things, and hopefully being able to upload regularly. Thanks for checking out the channel, and I hope you enjoy the match. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Vagrant Gaming. If you're new, thanks for checking out the channel, and if you're, you're returning, a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. So this match isn't my best performance for doing damage, but I did want to do a little bit of a feature on kiting. I haven't really done much gameplay in this new war zone, and previously I did a kiting video with suggested positionings for a commando in the various war zones, but this match, what this war zone, pardon me, wasn't part of that. So, this is technically being done as an update. And one of the other things I tried to do, especially in the beginning here, is that Sniper Grand Puba. I tried to support him best I could because usually when I have another ranged person to team up with, or even a melee person if I'm trying to be sneaky, I like to try to not just focus on doing damage, but also put a decent amount of work into assisting and, and kiting, not kiting, excuse me, peeling. For, for an associate. Now, Grand Poobah most likely didn't notice anything I was doing. We weren't in voice chat, we weren't communicating, and I don't think I typed anything at all in chat for this entire match. So I was kind of focused in on what was immediately in front of me, and then I'd readjust accordingly. I tend to read, read the chat and whatnot after the fact when there was a cool minute in between. So, Koopa has somebody on his back, he's not really paying much attention to them, so I focused on them, and now he's fine. And intermittently, I was focused firing off of him. Now the kiting is going to kick in in a minute or two, as you might be able to see in the upper right corner, there's that sniper, and I didn't notice at first he was on me. And eventually, I did get smart to the fact that I was being shot, so I kited around the corner, threw a couple of heals, and then I'm going to get right back into it. So basically, He's got the high ground, and the passive that snipers have is their cover. And in addition to that, when their dodge is up, I can't really do too much damage to them. Now, there was an error I made here. Orbital Bombardment, it, that Orbital Bombardment move there, uh, I know we're upside, it's called XLS Flyby. I don't quite remember the name of it inside. It honestly doesn't do that much damage. So I could have stood in it and not really worried about it. As far as if I'm standing in it and he's shooting at me, it might be an issue, but as I was around the corner, the hits are very infrequent and they're nothing special. The other thing I did want to be careful about is not standing inside of his his gas canister. So I was kind of cutting around a little bit. Now, he got my health pretty low, which is fine. The thing was, is what I needed to I ducked out and tried to use my defenses. And now you can see he's making a run for it, and you might have missed it, but the Electronet did finish him off with... 3,504 points of damage. Not a huge hit, but, as I like to say, win the win. So now I believe I'm back on Poobah, or trying to watch his back at least a little bit. And he's got that Guardian that's on him. So instead of pushing in, I'm trying to stay towards the outskirts. If anybody rushed out to fight me, like, it would most likely be a one-on-one -on -one situation, which is better than a two-on-one. -on -one. So that's why I kind of hung back here because I can fairly easily line of sight anybody that gets too, too close. Now this sniper was in the perfect spot for me to basically flank him, so I'm focusing on him and he, for, well, as you can see, a decent stretch. Didn't really do much as far as making a run for it until then. I could have pursued him, but that's where I think I, I get myself into trouble sometimes, and I've seen other players make that same mistake. See, that other sniper, it looks like he wanted some payback, or... He just saw a ranged attacker hiding on the outskirts and he wanted to put some pressure on, which is a totally legitimate move. If I had followed that other sniper out, I would have been pincered and I probably would have been in a lot of trouble. So I wound around behind the pillars there, and now I'm going to try to help Puba out, but I couldn't quite get the line of sight that I needed. So I got a little ambitious 
and actually ran up the stairs to the stun, and then they get leapt at by a juggernaut, and I realized I'd made a mistake. So, I bail. And now I'm gonna, I believe I'm going to be focusing in, yes, on that guardian that was on Grand Kuba. Because again, I'm still... I was mostly focusing on firing off of and peeling for Pooba, which was, it might not have been the greatest for my performance, but it was something that I wanted to do because I haven't really gotten a lot of practice lately with my peeling skills. The other thing is, is just in general, I haven't been in game much. My motivation to play the game has taken a bit of a hit, but just this past weekend when I was playing, I managed to get into a couple matches where I fired off a demolition round, and I remembered why I love this class so much. I adore demolition round. It might be my single favorite skill in the game. So I kind of, kind of rekindled my passion for playing Star Wars, and I started playing regularly again. And now that I was able to get into the, a, a decent guild that has like an active player base, I'm thinking. As, as time goes on, I'm going to have a lot of fun with these guys, and I can start to, again, start playing regularly, and who knows, maybe I'll have some more fun matches that I can upload and share with everybody. That was a beautiful thing, a nice 27k crit. Back in the day, I think before the latest update, if I got a 20k crit, I was over the moon. Like, that made me ha really happy, and the gear on Zarya here, when I switched my DPS gear over to her from Jail, my main commando, at first, it was nothing special. Most of the armorings were like 234s, 230s. Like, I was hitting like a wet dude. I was still having fun because I enjoyed playing the class, but my damage was a joke. It was, it was pretty embarrassing. At this point in time, I was able to get a couple of decent pieces, and with those couple of decent pieces, I was finally able to, on occasion, get some decent hits. So, from here on out, I think I'm in a decent spot where I can be at least competitive. Whereas before, I had to, I had to like, <laughs> I had to be free casting for several minutes to do anything worthwhile. And now I, I can kind of compete a little bit. Although I'm rusty on defending myself against juggernauts, and I'm rusty on defending myself against snipers. So that's a bit of work I need. Some of the other skills, like combining a plasma grenade with a mortar volley. That, uh, that still comes naturally, and is a beautiful thing to watch. I love being able to hit that combination on a group of like three or four people, just seeing all those yellow numbers popping up out of the ground with the Mortar Folly. Ugh, oh, Magnifique. Which is French for Magnifique. So, I was getting ready to start to kite around behind these pillars, but that Guardian, I'm not sure if it was input lag or, or what, like, because his force sweep seemed like it was a mile away. His health was so low, I figured, I've got most of my defenses available, I'm just going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And I think I was getting some assistance. But when I looked up at the, uh, the chat log when that guy went down, it said I beat him with a grab round for negative 539 damage. So, I think I healed him to death with a grab round, which should be impossible. What are you going to do? That 26k crit on the other hand, that's more like it. That, that's the type of math that I like. So... The team wound up being really good on this match because I was able to pretty much hang towards the back out of danger, which is ideal for a range class. Oof, nice 20k crit. Not worth chasing though, especially with another Guardian pushing in. Um, but uh, the rest of our team was really good. As you can see, they captured the west and the east nodes, and I was pretty much in there stalling on mid, and we eventually pushed them back and someone was able to cap it. So this match is going really well which was good because I needed to get the rust off. And when you're trying to get back in the swing of things and you're in a tough match, it's just really frustrating because your muscle memory, your um, your reflexes between your defenses, like all those important things so that you can be competitive and contribute to your team, it's just not there and you're still trying to sort yourself out while there's people who know what they're doing are attacking you. And it's super frustrating. So that was the body of the match. And pretty much after that, it's just kind of goofing off. I did catch that this guy was here by himself, so I rushed over and tried to help. And as they were in the middle of trying to focus him down, two on one, I was able to stay out of sight and fire some shots off. I tried to hit my dual combo, and not only did one of them run out of the area of effect already, I didn't notice it, but then someone hit a knockback, which makes me a sad, sad panda. 
<laughs> like, whenever I see an opportunity to drop an AoE, and someone hits a knockback and pushes them out of the field, I don't get mad, I just get really sad. <laughs> like, that's usually how I react to it. So, now here comes Apocalypse, which I didn't notice that. It's a blue, it's a blue chest called Apocalypse, that's perfect. And I was trying to play it smart, and I was still on, like, kiting mode, so, like, I, I've played a Virulent Sniper. It's a lot of fun. And I know that when I whip out a cull and blast it on somebody, like, I know that a lot of numbers are going to start coming up. So I opted to try to kite around, but I wasn't paying enough attention to my overall surroundings, and I wasn't I wasn't committed to whichever way I was going to go. Fortunately, I believe that's Grand Poobah who came up behind that, that sniper decided to pop back up and take some shots at me. And they opted not to fight both of us at the same time, which I wouldn't have either. So, Grand Pooba, I'm pretty sure, is the top of the damage. Um, and I was just happy that I didn't get killed. And I was able to get some practice at not only kiting around stuff, but also peeling. So, for me, the match was a success. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll catch you next time. There's more to come.